guys, what's up? It's Hope, and I'm here to bring you another recipe, and I'm really excited about sharing this one with y'all. I actually found it on Pinterest, and I am going to be changing it up just a little bit, but I'll make sure and let you know where those changes are. Um, tonight, I'm going to be making broccoli cauliflower mac and cheese. It doesn't have noodles, so don't worry. Um, it is basically just like this broccoli cauliflower cheesy casserole thing, and I am super excited about trying it. So the original recipe that I found on Pinterest does not have broccoli in it, but I had like a half a bag of broccoli florets from making that chicken and broccoli and cheese casserole last week and so I was worried that it was going to go bad so I'm just going to go ahead and throw it in there too. I figure what's it going to hurt? Who doesn't love broccoli and cheese also? So I don't feel like it's really going to matter. Um, so I'm just going to kind of throw it all in there and it doesn't have a whole lot of ingredients either so I'm really excited about that. So let's go ahead and get started. All right started. guys so this is another one of those recipes that doesn't have a whole lot of ingredients and y'all know I love recipes like that. Um, and so it has a little bit of garlic powder, a little bit of salt and pepper, uh, like a teaspoon of yellow mustard, which was really interesting to me. I'm not a big mustard fan, but they said the mustard really brings out the flavor of the cheese sauce. So I'm excited about that. Um, a little bit of cream cheese, heavy whipping cream, and of course some cheese that'll go on top. I love Colby Jack. And then you can't forget about the cauliflower and the broccoli. So I'm going to throw, basically what's going to happen first is I'm going to take the cauliflower and the broccoli and I'm going to steam it before I put it in the oven. And so that'll be the next step yeah, that so you see. So this is one whole head of cauliflower and it's about three or four cups of broccoli florets. Basically what I did was I took the head of cauliflower and chopped it up into, just kind of took the florets off of the cauliflower as well. And then um, I trimmed up the broccoli. I'm not a big fan of like the broccoli stem part. I, I feel like it can get kind of tough. And so I went ahead and trimmed some of the broccoli florets that had a long stem on it. And I just threw it all into this pot with a little bit of salt and pepper and some water. Just kind of fill it up um, halfway and kind of, you know, you're, you'll be able to gauge yourself on how much water you'll need. And so basically what I'm going to do is I have it on high. I'm going to put a lid on it. Yeah, so I've got it pretty much on high and the pot is boiling. I'll kind of let y'all see. Um, kind of boiling away, getting super yummy and tender. We want to make sure and cook it until it's really tender so that way whenever we put it into the oven, um, there's not any hard crunchy pieces and it really tastes like mac and cheese. So I'm going to go ahead and put the lid back on and let it cook for a little while longer. So it's one cup of the shredded Colby Jack cheese, an entire block of cream cheese, a third a cup of heavy whipping cream, a tablespoon of mustard, and then garlic powder to taste, salt and pepper as well. So um, basically what I did was after steaming the vegetables, they are super tender. Um, I drained it and you'll just cook everything in one pot. So all of the ingredients are going to go into the pot with the vegetables. This is what the mixture looks like after you add all of the ingredients to it. Um, notice how all the vegetables just kind of broke apart and it's really creamy. Um, and I did take a little taste and it's amazing. So basically what you do now is you put this in a casserole dish and you sprinkle cheese on top. It's like half a cup of cheese. And then you put it in the oven for like five or ten minutes and it's so ready. So this is what it looks like after you put the cauliflower and broccoli mixture into the pan. You just sprinkle shredded cheese on top. The recipe called for like half a cup. I went ahead, went ahead and put like two cups on here because the broccoli kind of made there be more mixture than what the original recipe calls for. And so I did sprinkle like two cups of shredded cheese on top. But I'll make sure and put the recipe down below in the description. All right, I'm going to pop it in the oven at 375 for like five to 10 minutes just to melt. Guys, so this off. is what it looks like. I'm so, so, yeah. so very excited. So I let the cheese melt and then I put it under the broiler really quickly and I'm so excited. I can't wait to try it and let y'all know so how it here tastes. are the stats for the recipe that I just shared. Um, it is, the, the recipe is 234 calories per serving. Now because I threw in the broccoli and all the extra like amounts of ingredients, like when I first read the recipe on Pinterest, of course it just called for one head of cauliflower and a lot of the ingredients were a lot Lot smaller than what I actually put into the recipe and so I did like I said in the beginning of this video make some adjustments to the recipe um, just for my own preference so like you can definitely do that you can tweak this recipe however you see fit but um, the recipe that I made tonight um, made 12 servings of, of the um, the broccoli cauliflower 
mac and cheese. Um, I would like to say something though, like the more I ate it at dinner, the more I was like, it really tastes more like a mash or like a mashed potato, not like a mac and cheese. And I don't know if it's because I cooked the vegetables so they were like super tender, like, and then once I mixed everything together, it was just kind of like this mash of mixture. Um, there was some texture as far as the vegetables. Like if you took a big bite, you you could taste a little bit of the texture, but it was really more like a mash. So I guess it just depends on how long you cook the vegetables, how um, what the texture and consistency is. So just keep that in mind. Um, so like I said, 234 calories per serving. Here are the stats. 16 and a half grams of fat per serving. 11.3 uh, grams of protein per serving, and then 6.4 grams of net carbs per serving. I feel like the stats on this recipe are incredible. I mean, that's just my opinion. Um, you get a really good size helping, 234 calories, and you get a ton of fat, a, you know, a little, I mean, a really good amount of protein, and then, of course, a really low number of carbs for the amount of, um, the recipe that you're getting. So I just felt like it was a really awesome recipe. I seen it on Pinterest and immediately was like, I want to make this. Oh my gosh. Um, and we had this pork tenderloin in the crock pot like all day. And so basically what I'll, what I did was, is I put uh, the, a serving of the, um, broccoli, cauliflower, mashed potato, mac and cheese ish, whatever you want to call it on the plate. And then I put, um, a couple of slices of that pork tenderloin. And I'll make sure and end the video with a picture of what my plate looked like, but it was so delicious. Like, I kid you not, side note, Aiden is four, and he asked for a second helping of it. Like, it was so delicious. Like, it didn't taste like it had any vegetables in it at all. It was super decadent and cream cheese and whipping cream and Colby Jack cheese and like it was so great. So I want y'all to do me a favor. If you try the recipe and you tweak it and you you realize you did something different to it. Another thing that was different was the mustard and I was worried about that because I'm not a big mustard fan um, but it really kind of gave it this really edgy twang which I was I kind of loved. Uh, my husband, on the other uh, on the other hand, said that he would actually prefer it without the mustard. But you can actually do like a teaspoon as opposed to a tablespoon, like I did. Um, you can just tweak it however you see fit. But going back to that, um, y'all leave me a comment below and let me know if you tried the recipe and if you liked it. Um, it was definitely something different, but I was super excited about getting rid of that head of cauliflower and the broccoli that was in my fridge. I was afraid that was going to go bad. So I just got on Pinterest and found this recipe and it ended up being super delicious. And another one of those cook all in one pot, not a lot of ingredients recipes, which I absolutely love. Um, I went ahead and put everything, all the ingredients and made a recipe in my fitness pal. And so I vlogged it for dinner this afternoon. Um, and so, or this evening. So I'm really excited about seeing how this week went and I'm excited about hearing your comments on this video as well. So just let me know what you think. Um, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.